Uh, welcome to the Microprocessor Lab. Today we will deal about the assembly language program using logical instructions. Okay, in this category we are going to see three programs. One is assembly language program to check whether the number is a positive number or negative number. Assembly language program to check number is even number or odd number and assembly language program to count the number of ones and zeros okay so let us start with a positive number or negative number okay so the logic is very simple take the number to any one of the register rotate it left throughout the cavity Okay, so why we are going to rotate it left first? So the MSB bit of any number will signify the sign of that number. If the MSB bit is 1, then it is a negative number. If MSB is 0, it is going to be a positive number. Okay, so once we shift or rotate both left hand side throughout the cavity, okay, so for one shifting or for one rotation operation, our MSB bit will be stored in carry and now if you check the status of the carry flag okay which is updated with the MSB bit and if it is found to be 1 it is said to be a negative number and if it is found to be 0 it is a positive number okay so this is how we will signify we will check the positivity or negativity of a given number Okay, now let us go to the program. Right. So this is IE CS DS code. So we are going to initialize core segment, data segment, and in data segment we are defining in a in a word word space for storing the number, and we are giving to display statements one is positive number and other is negative number okay right from 1000h okay and then we go to code segment we start at 2000h we start writing the code at 2000h location then by using move ax comma dx we are initializing the data segment address into ax and we are making it active by moving the by moving this seg uh, data segment address to data segment register so these two lines will represent these two lines will represent the accessing data segment so these two lines will represent accessing data segment in uh, uh, in the code segment next we need to access this location okay so what we do is with the help of an source index register we are pointing to the starting address of the num so wherever num is locating so num is reserved with four uh, two byte uh, two byte locations okay so the starting address of that byte location is uh, pointed by offset num offset uh, assembler directive okay now what we do so whatever the value we are going to enter in this location that is in num location that value will be simply moved to copy to ax register with the help of the instruction move ax comma at si okay now we are duplication this data into bx register for safety purpose okay then we are performing shift left operation ax comma 0, 1. So if it is uh, shifted left hand side by one time, if they carry exist, then the number is a negative number. So that's why we are doing the jumping from jumping to a location called L. So L represents so 0, 9 H. So here we are write, uh, running a display routine. Okay, move AH comma 0, 9 H. Okay, move DX comma offset display. Okay, so offset display 2. So display 2 is our negative number. So 
character by character it is moved to dx from dx it is thrown out thrown to onto the dos screen okay then we are stopping the program okay 21h okay and then we are going to terminate the program with the help of ah comma 4ch if our number doesn't contain a carry it directly represents a positive number so this condition jc condition will fail scary does not exist so the next instruction will get executed okay in the next instruction we are going to write the display routine positive number we are going to stop and we are going to jump to a location called stop where the program will be terminated okay so this is how the program will work. Okay. Now let us see how it is going to be executed. Okay. So for this, we will go to Tom Tom. I will show you in Tom. Okay. Open the DOS box. Okay, so this DOS box will hold truth only for your Windows 7 and higher version. So far, we need to mount this. Mount the folder C, C colon, LG LC folder. Now it is mounted. You go to the mounted drive C, then click by edit. So if you type edit, blue screen will be there. Now you can start writing the program. Since I have already written the program, I will open the program. Okay, so the program is positive or negative. See here, this is our program. Okay, so it will get maximized. Then, so we have to start running it so I have not changed anything here so here yes h l yes h l a x a x comma 0 1 h and we are checking for the condition instead of l i have used ng for better interpretation so then save the program exit now as usual nasm so for assembly nasm pon dot asm so this is our program file name so since we got, uh, so see here we got zero errors. Okay, so now link the program link pon dot obj colon. So no stack. So now start debugging it pon dot exe. Okay, so now we have written the program, unassemble the program right from 2000. Okay, so now you have to enter the number, isn't it? So just check US address 76. So see here, AX, the first instruction, move AX, 076A, that represents the data segment address. So 76A colon 1000H. Okay, so see here, our two statements were visible. Okay. So now we have to enter a new number. Let us say 076A colon 1000H. Okay. So now we can enter a new number. See here, it is a 16-bit number. So first we have to enter the lower byte. So lower byte can be anything. And higher byte, let us say we are entering a negative number. So MSB which should be 1. So I'll take uh, 92. Okay. So now see our data is loaded into the specified 
memory location say here so port 592 now start executing from this location so now see g msp is 1 so we are getting a negative number now we will try to change the number 076a colon 1000 we will give a positive number space space some 2 3 okay now start executing it now see we get a positive number okay so this is how we can do positive or negative number so you can check for any other number also suppose if you want to work with 8 bit numbers okay so then so here we have to define it by db okay and here al and here al al okay so whenever we define it by byte one memory location will be allocated and accordingly we have to enter the data okay so now see madam so I have linked the program then debug the program and assemble to thousand h and see d so now if you see here only one memory location have been should uh, would have been reserved for storing the num value see right so from the second position onwards a positive number and negative numbers have been there so e 0 7 6 a 1000 h if you give and now give some number called a negative number i'll give e g equal to 2000 Maybe both positive numbers. Yeah, F E. Wait. No. And assemble the program and let us see where the problem is. Yeah, you have shifted A X. That's the reason. Okay. So what we do? We go for the program again. Edit. P O N dot E X E sorry A S M here we have to make it as L not F okay so compare the pro assemble the program debug it sorry link it then debug it now see so we'll get the correct result so e 076 a colon thousand h now i'll give a new number f e okay so now if you want you can check that number 6a so this is an 8-bit number right so then now see f e we got now check it here so it is a negative number. Now we will try to give a positive number E 076A 1000. So I will give a positive number called 23. And now I will start executing it. Now see positive number we got it. Okay. So and this is how we can do the positive and negative number.